Hi everyone, my name is Michael Uwasa. I'm the founder of Antarctic. Uh, we're a digital agency out of New York City. And today I'm gonna show you how to create uh, Facebook ads that will preserve their social proof, comments, likes, uh, and shares, even after you continue to edit your uh, creative and test new messaging within your, uh, within your ads. So one of the big challenges with running Facebook ads is if you put up a new ad set, new ads, uh, and they start to gather social proof, uh, they start to get likes, and you go back in and you want to, maybe, maybe there's a typo, maybe you want to change the call to action text or change the image, uh, you go into Ads Manager, you do that, you click Publish, and all the social proof gets deleted that had been gathered uh, within those ads. So uh, first I'm just going to show you a couple ads that we've had running for quite some time. This is a brand called Crown Hat NYC. We've had this ad running for over a year now. And you can see that there's 231 comments, 170, uh, 107 shares, and uh, we've continued to update this creative moving forward. Uh, this is a client of ours, God's Love We Deliver, with an ad. Um, as you can see, they have 74 comments, 256 shares, and we've continued to you know, create edits to this ad and update the copy to make it more persuasive uh, and continue to gather donations for the nonprofit. So how you set this up is uh, you go into your ads manager, you create a folder which you can see up here called creative folder. Uh, just put don't turn on so you know not to turn it on. And you create you know, an ad set and then you create a new ad. And you put whatever creative you want in this ad. Um, so this is a, uh, this is my clothing line, You Awesome Menswear. And you can see that you know, it says check out best selling swim briefs, shop before they're gone. Okay, uh, so you know, we just dropped the video in here. Uh, change the copy here or updated the copy and you go up here uh, once you know you submit it the ads approved and you go to the Facebook post with comments okay. and you can see the ad and what it looks like within Facebook so what you do is you just pull this uh, post ID here from the address bar and then uh, that's it for this ad and then you go back into Facebook, you create a new ad campaign, uh, which you see here. Uh, I just put the post ID in the, uh, in the campaign name. Uh, you know, you adjust your targeting however you see fit. And then when you're creating the ad, all you do is you go to uh, use existing post and down here you can just enter a post ID, which is what you see here. Whoops. Just go back here, grab this post ID, add that here. Okay. And you'll see the ad uh, from the creative folder that's not turned on brought into this ad set. Uh, so then, you know, pretty much it already has the call to action, it has the um, the URL from the previous ad here that's, that's already been added, all the copy, and you just click publish. And then this ad will continue to uh, gather social proof, likes, comments, etc. But all you do if you want to update it is you don't update it in this post ID ad. You update it in the creative folder that's marked do not turn on. So anything I update within this post uh, with the post ID here, so I just update the creative here. This will, oops, this copy will push uh, to the new ad here, and that will preserve all the social proof. Um, so I hope this was helpful, and feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thank you.